Hello, and if you're new to our channel, we are the Ruck family, Stu, Charlie, and our three kids. 18 months ago, we put our house on the market and moved into our motorhome just to go travelling full time. We've explored a lot of Europe and the UK, and last winter, we even converted a VW Crafter, which we tore down to Spain for two months for some winter sun. With the van being too small for us full time, we returned to the UK and bought our current motorhome, Nacho. Join us this week as we start our European tour. So after a week of upgrades, we're finally on the road. We're heading to Europe. First things first, we've got to go and get gas. We're going to top up our LPG. We're going to top up our fuel. And we're going to hit a hickories for our stomach. We need to get full. Yes, last British meal before the European menus <laughs> yeah. kick in. We're going to head to either the Euro Tunnel or the ferries. We haven't decided yet. We're literally just going to go down there and make our way. Um, Pebbles is being looked after by some friends, so we can just go without worrying about AHCs and all that sort of stuff that we normally worry about. And we're really excited. And to be honest with you, we haven't even decided where our actual trip is going to take us to. So we've made it to France. It was a fairly pain-free crossing actually wasn't it love it was for you because we were on a boat but you know when you get that misty morning blue skies i was like it'll be nice and still today and it was it was it was lovely i was able to sit there and actually look at the sea and enjoy the scenery it was lovely so we've made it we've ended up on a campsite in reims it's taken us about three hours to get here we used a toll road down it cost us about 31 32 euros we're not sure if we were charged class two or class three because for some reason the screen was blank but usually they try it on and they'll try and charge us a three so we always have to say no no we're a two <laughs> but anyway we're here we've made it we've just pitched up everybody's getting ready to go swimming so we found this gorgeous campsite it's really really quiet there's a park here i'll just give you a quick show around actually so the swimming pool's just up there, it's a load of vans and then the park's over in that corner and everybody looks ready to go. So this campsite's cost 40 euros, um, not too bad, it's got a restaurant here that's on site, it's open. I honestly thought we were going to hit one of those camping car airs and we were only going to be paying about 5 to 7 euros tonight but as it goes we've not managed to have showers for a couple of days so it's a good opportunity to have a good wash. <laughs> and we haven't been on a site for as long as we can remember so we thought why not start the holiday off with a bang. <laughs> Stu surprised us all and uh, got us onto a campsite so I'm going to be doing a bit of sunbathing but I like proper holiday mode now and uh, yeah get these kids knackered from the uh, swimming pools. Yes, this is just what I ordered. So it's happened for the first time ever to us. We <laughs> haven't planned a campsite. We have just picked one we liked, chose it and driven down here. It's been about a six hour journey, isn't it? It's been a long one today. I mean, we're in the direction we need to go, but yeah, I've gone in to book in and they've got no spaces and it's quite a big park but it's on a beautiful lake, so obviously quite popular too. Yeah, so sometimes you do need to book ahead for campsites. We never do because we like the, um, the ease of being able to pick up and move yeah. on and we flexibility. Drive, that's it, we can drive as much or as little as we want every day, but yeah. this is part and parcel of what goes with that, to be honest. So we've just found another one just around the other side of the lake. It's 2.8 miles away. Let's go give that one a shot, Lev. I don't think this is the right place. There's a ticket machine here asking me to take a ticket and it's six euros to get back out again. So I don't think this is it. I think maybe this might be a car park just to get to the lake. Well, I got us a ticket anyway. There was someone behind us, so I felt the pressure. Oh, these are all waiting to get out. Oh my God. All through that, to get to that barrier. Well, I hope there's a space for us now because that's a lot of traffic to get, to get stuck back in. Get through that one. Get through it? I don't know. I think so. We're getting some strange looks off some people. I don't think we're supposed to be coming down yet. Mm. Fair play, they are moving out of the way as best they can. And if it makes you feel any better, that lake is beautiful. They better be camping down here now. That's all I can say. <laughs> We've got a long wait otherwise. Oh, I just pitch up for an hour. <laughs> I will. I'll just cook some tea. Right, I see campers, there's a glimmer of hope. <laughs> I think. I don't know. Campers on the right here, maybe it's just parking. Like. Yeah, maybe. 
But it says camping, domain de Chalene, swimming pool. Let me see what the designated area, closed permanently to touring vans and motorhomes 2023, six euros to park for the day. All oh, right, so it used to be a campsite. It's closed recently by the looks of it. Okay, so we didn't go wrong, we just had too late. Well, that's a shame because that was a bit of a mammoth drive then as well, but never mind. We'll go and maybe check out our local air or something. It's getting quite late now anyway. All we've got left in the day is tea and sleep. So it seems a bit pointless spending money out on a campsite anyway, to be fair. Well, at least the queue's gone, love. There's an attendant or something up here letting everyone out. So that's good news. Yeah. I think we'll stop. <laughs> so Stu decided to do a pure clean on the way down because we've just left the campsite so we have no water on board so we have no choice. Well we did, it's what campsite. I've done this morning, pure clean which is the purifier for your tank and pipes. I did a full tank this morning, put the pure clean in, I drove for an hour and then I poured water from the clean tank into the wick to fill up the waste tank because I also use it to clean the waste tank and then I drove for another half hour and stopped at an air that had the water dump in and then we dumped it all. Yeah, so we have no water. No, well we thought we were going onto a campsite, but I, even then I've still got to fill the water tank back up, let it come through the taps a bit and dump it and then I can put a third load in and that'll be the one that will be good. Luckily, there's plenty of campsites near this sort of area, so hopefully we'll find something. Time is getting on, it's gone five now. So we do want to sell down pretty quick. We were hoping for a beer and a pizza or something, but... That's still happening. And you'll be lucky to get a sandwich at this rate It's now. happening. <laughs> so we found a campsite and to be fair, it's got the same facilities on it that we had for the last two days. We can't really complain with that. It's got a swimming pool, it's got a trampoline, it's got like a blow up bouncy castle. It's got the showers and all that kind of stuff. Our pitch is quite big. We're on pitch number nine and Stu's finally filling up all the water and sorting out all his sunny waste that he was dealing with just now. But I can't complain because we've only spent 22 euros for the night. So that's not too bad at all. The kids are now in their swimming cozies. They're gonna go and jump in. It's 32 degrees, it's like 6 p.m. and everyone's boiling. And then tomorrow we'll head over, make our way over to Switzerland. So. Good morning. It's day three or four? because we've had three nights in France. Yes. But today's a bit special. It's new country day. <laughs> and it isn't just new country. This is somewhere that's been like on our wish list for a long time. Yeah, we were supposed to go there on our last summer tour, but we ended up spending more time in Italy. Yeah. So yes, new country day and Switzerland is our target destination. So we're about an hour and a half. Yeah, really, really excited. We're getting out early. We're going to hit a lake. There are lots of campsites around a few of the lakes in the area, so we're definitely going to get on one today, aren't we? Yeah, we've been ferrying around a sup board in the middle of the van all this way, so we can't wait to get that out as well. That's a really cool sup board. I'm going to show you that one yeah, as well, I'm really guys. Excited. This is a little bit different. <laughs> but anyway, that being said, should we hit the road? Yeah, that was a lot of information. So, there's Wi-Fi. Cool. I've got a Ninja Star that I've got to put in the windscreen. So we got a site map, and it's another one of those sites that give you a bin. They do recycling. Everything that's not recycling goes in this bin bag. 136, 138. Well, this is our pitch here. Yeah, on the end. That's nice. All right, good luck trying to get in there, though. I know. There's quite a few it's people around. Snag. <laughs> being ushered in by the locals. Nicely done, Stuart Ruck, and check out our cute little flower bush. Happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy. Oh, that, was, that wasn't too bad. So can let we go find just, the lake now? Let me just check our levels. It's according to the map, we're that close to it. Right, do you want to go do the two ramps up front, love? And then we can go find the lake. And then we'll go find the lake. We'll go walk in and we're going exploring straight away. We're not wasting no time. Two ramps behind the front wheels. Yes, I can see them then. Like I did last time when you come backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
She's a good egg. Stu's just putting his electric in. Beth, I just want to show you this pitch. Look how cute it is. So we've put the mats and the chairs out. Flowers. So pretty. So yeah, just getting everyone ready now. We're going to go out exploring. This is nice. We can stop here after another beer. Oh my gosh. So we come straight out onto the lake. Wow. It's good for fishing. I'm sure it's a lake. Yeah, man. That is Lake Geneva. This will be great for fishing because I bought a fishing rod. Look at the boat. We've got boats over there. Look at that water. You can see all the fishies. I can catch a fishie. So I know where you can see that last point by there, there's a beach just on the other side of that. There's a sandy beach just there. Yeah. And if you look by there, you can do pedal or high air and stuff. This is swan. This is cool. Boats are so it's pretty, small. isn't it? How clear it is. Catch a tiny one. So oh, this lake, kids, is owned 60% by Switzerland and 40% by France. Everyone's fascinated by the glass toilet. Dexter seems see to think. Toilet. Yeah, yeah, Dexter seems to think once you're in there, it goes invisible. There you go, he's right. It did. <laughs> it's because it's invisible. That's cool, now. let me show him that. Watch this. You can see the toilet just there. Dex, close it again and show him. So there's the toilet. Gone. How cool is that? Yeah, the best part was Dexter told us about it. Yeah, I didn't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> he knows about it. Come on then, Dex. It's in Japan, everywhere in Japan. It's a, the I idea is so you can know if it's open or not. Fair enough. I knew about it, you didn't. <laughs> Guess that makes sense. So, so people can see in there to see if it's empty or not. And when you're in there, you get privacy. But can you imagine you're, you go in and use it, and for whatever reason it doesn't actually go across and would you know inside if it's gone over yeah. or not oh yeah so you won't be able to see outside either no right okay we haven't quite made the beach yet we're uh, still walking along the front and the views here are just insane i don't know if it's picking it up on the camera or not but there are some ice cap mountains just there and the sun is now coming through it's uh, breaking down the clouds so the views are definitely clearer than they were 10 minutes ago I feel like i need to throw something down for them <laughs> all their bags are empty because it's so clean it is so clean with it. I'm sure she just picked up a leaf. <laughs> Desperate types. Listen, you can't mock it, right? Definitely not mocking it. It's been super clean. It's the prettiest place I think we've seen so far, isn't it? It's definitely up there. It's the cleanest, without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, look at all these restaurants. Tourist information, sailing league. That's an, a nice looking restaurant by there. I'm not being funny, I'm feeling a restaurant. I'm thinking the idea is, you know, it's warming to me. So if you want to take me out for food, babe, I'm not going to be upset about it. But it's your 40th birthday in a few days. I might be holding back. 39 plus one, if you don't mind. And we've got a 10 year old over here, soon to be 10 year old, who keeps reminding me that I'm aging fast. Her so. birthday's in four days after mine. <laughs> Unreal. To be honest with you, I already feel spoiled that we're even in Switzerland. I didn't even think we were going to even come here. When he said to me, oh, we're going to go, I was like, nah, he's having me on. So the fact that we're even here is, uh, is a real treat. And um, I do feel quite grateful, actually. So we've left the beach behind. It's so manic down there. We were like, yeah, not for us. We prefer things a little bit quieter than that. Um, it was basically a little pebbly beach. Um, it wasn't massive um, on the other side of the lake so we're going to walk back now towards where we're camping because there's a restaurant there we're going to have maybe a drink there and we figured off we could probably get the set board off what do you call those things that you walk out on into the lake the pontoons or piers yeah pontoon that's the word so there's a pontoon there we're going to try and let the set board off that i think and we're going to probably do a little bit more of a recce in the area just to see if there's anything else the other side of the camping site so we've just walked past our campsite a little bit further down maybe a, another few minutes and we found another park another restaurant it looks like and it's the pedalo point so just have a look at this what do you think of that park, Dexter? Very tiny. Better? Crazy. Looks like we can launch a set board off here, actually. There is, as I suspected, a closer beach. Ah, yes. So we could take the set board off here. Yeah. Yeah, this is good enough. We're going to go back to the campsite, get the set board, have a little bite to eat, and then we'll show you what we found. 
so Stu's got one. Stu's got his new set board toy out. We've just come down to the beach. We're just going to set this up and then get onto the lake. This will be interesting now watching you pump it up. Children getting straight to work and giving it a good old pump. We're going to be a while then. I got dirt on the minute second. But I want to do that. Can you believe they're actually arguing over the hard work that's ahead? Look, I'm not complaining to be honest with you, I ain't got to pump it up. <laughs> Milu's getting tired. No, I'm not. Oh, she's actually getting up. It is big. I told you it was a big one. <laughs> but do you notice something special about this one? No, I don't think they can see it. <laughs> so, to be fair, Goose Hill, they sent us this out. We've had this about two months, haven't we? Yeah. Waiting for this tour to use yeah, it. Too and they've customized it for us. So underneath we had the logo with the camper and then on the sides also got the logo the front. and then up front. Just cool. Yeah. What's up? But they got a, a really good range and a lot of them are customizable. So if you're looking for a board that you want it to be a bit unique for you, go check Goose Hill out. Now we're gonna go try it out and see how it is on the water. There he goes, like a professional. All right, come on, kiddies, out of the way. I want to see if Daddy can stand up on the board. Yeah. It's wider than the last one. So bad. I'm totally going in. Can I play you? <laughs> We're all banking on that, actually. I know. I'm, I'm going to flip him at the last one. Oh, we will. <laughs> you have a go. No, thanks. One minute. I can't believe we're in Switzerland, sat board in a Lake Geneva. Like, it, it's just really weird. So I never thought this would ever happen. <laughs> I'm getting ready to fall. Yeah, something's going down now. One of you three, probably. Tell me if I can help it. Oh, Oliver should get on there too. Coming on. There's space for you. Oliver. Next one, move up. Budge up, let Oliver on. Okay, I'll be you, Cal. Come on. I have a feeling they're gonna go in. <laughs> I think the weather is just heats it up real fast. Yeah. What's that fun? Yeah, it's good. So Stu's actually brought us up this evening and we've got sangria and we've just had to look at the menu and I think Stu was about to have a heart attack. Well, no, not a heart attack. I thought I was going to the kidney clinic to sell one. <laughs> <laughs> Bit pricey. Yeah, so the menu basically is spaghetti bolognese, chicken nuggets, ham and chips. There's pizzas on you, but like if you go for one of their pizzas, 28 francs, which is about 25 quid. Yeah, but we are sat on Lake Geneva, the view just behind there. Look, there's a boat moored up, it's all pretty. It's not overly windy, it's really, really peaceful and lush. The size on the sangria, 8.50 for that bad boy. You better enjoy it. Oh, I will enjoy it. As I'll enjoy mine. So, it's bedtime. I've just literally sat on the edge of the bed. I'm not even the edge, maybe the centre of the bed. And I literally fell through the bed. Man, but it's not pleased. I have damaged the motorhome to an extent that I don't think it's fixable. And all I did was sit down. But it's not the wood, is it? It's the plastic that's gone. Love, it's frayed at the end. That tells me there was a weak point. It's what? Where it's frayed at the end, look. It's not broken off in one piece. It's come off in like a No, frayed. I mean just being broken very dramatically. I guess I'm sleeping on the floor tonight then. I didn't even sit down with any force. So Stu's just had a mammoth drive right the way through the city centre and it got a little bit touch and go at, at some points there. So we've managed to find like a co-op car park. We've just parked the motorhome in there and Stu's just gone off for a little walk to go and find this hardware store called Jumbo. He needs to get some wood panels and a screwdriver and some screws because when I sat on the bed last night it, the whole rail has snapped so he needs to try and obviously make sure that it's fitted nice for tonight because we both had a horrible night's sleep 
we slept on the single beds and the fact that we could barely roll over without falling out was just horrible it's just kept us up all night so we're both a little bit grumpy as well so that's not really helped fingers crossed the man but comes back with everything he needs and he can get that fixed he's back with the goodies let's have a look what bought then well i got a slightly bigger one because this one's broken quite a wide piece but it's profiled and plain so you won't get no <laughs> splinters that's kind thanks and then i bought a nice plain smaller piece just to reinforce this side two different size screws for the two different size buttons i got some super glue and activator to see if i can repair the plastic thing a screwdriver because i didn't even have a screwdriver and the <laughs> cheapest saw i could find because i got one cut to do do i need to ask how much all that came to about 40 quid really yeah. oh that's not too bad then yeah it was all right i was expecting a screwdriver alone to be 40 quid i know right <laughs> but no it wasn't too bad i'm not gonna i was gonna do a year but i think let's get to where we're going yeah and i'll do it later as long as it's done before bed but see this piece this is the bit that snapped now i did find out it's actually a common fault on swifts using these cheap runners and it's snapped all the way to you so what i plan on doing is cutting it here and then cut this to suit to the same length so it'll be cut around there and just sticking that on on there so this bit will just run across the top for now that's all i can do but it will it'll work as a temporary fix and then i'll use this one just to fit underneath this one to make sure that don't happen again i'm surprised you didn't bring your impact driver with you you always bring we always bring that on board i know never so mind instead, he's gonna have to get some muscles in his wrists because that is all you've got yeah. <laughs> Bang. come on then let's get to where we're going yeah donut come in Hold on, go! Oh, why are you emotional, babe? I don't know, I just think it's nice. Just kindness of people. Yeah. He's off.